the clock literally just ticked over to my birthday so I am 21 right now which feels really weird but I don't feel that happy about it I don't I don't feel sad about it I feel very strange but I have a lot of thoughts going on um not necessarily bad just a lot of mixed emotion and feelings um it's just very strange I don't know I think overall I am just this is really sad but I'm just lonely like <laughs> I'm here doing nothing um I did go out earlier on with work, but no one wanted to stay out. Um, um, like two people wished me happy birthday. I feel some type of way about it, but whatever. Like, I just I don't know. Birthdays are a silly concept, but I guess I've, I'm just a bit triggered. Like. I don't want everyone to bow down to me and like so I can be the birthday princess and all of that bullshit. I, it just highlights like how lonely I actually am. Um, which is difficult to deal with. It's not a nice thing to think about. Um, and I think it just is heightened on your birthday. So that's something I'm going through. Uh, this year... I really just want to accept myself more. Um, like, I came out in year seven, like the end of year seven, start of year eight, I came out as a lesbian um, in art class. I will never forget it spread around the whole room instantly. Um, but I've always... Uh, felt really broken and just really strange and only last year did I realize that I was asexual um, and I've spent my whole life lying about being uh, sexually active <laughs> to put in Juno terms um, and uh, in like lying about intimacy and relationships and exes and I finally came out uh, at Pride I think it was at Pride well it was like near Pride time I came out to my family and Facebook friends as asexual but I still haven't accepted being asexual and I really want to work on it this coming year but it's so fucking difficult I feel like I have so I, I know that there's a spectrum of asexuality and I'm not going to go into all of the different things but I thought I was demisexual um and for a little while I was like claiming to be but I'm not going to categorise it I'm just going to say I'm on the spectrum and at this moment in time, um, I'm on the spectrum and I'm just, like, romantically... <laughs> what part? Um, I only want to be romantically involved with people. And I th that's the hardest thing to deal with about being ace for me, is I feel like I have so much love to give, but I can't deal with the pressure of just I just can't date in this age I, I just feel like I'm from a different time like I shouldn't be in this time it, I should be from eras past where it was scandalous to show an ankle like I feel like the whole world is on a different pace with me and I'm still in a uh, like a primary school mindset or if someone holds my hand like yeah, I'll be happy till next month like I feel so alone as if I I can't be with people because I'm I feel broken 
and I I've always like before I knew what I've never knew what asexuality was I just it was something I'd never looked into and I can't even tell you how it felt to find that there was a term for this turmoil that I'd been feeling inside me I felt like fucks I was just like what the fuck is wrong with me like I'm just just fucked basically <laughs> and I found that and I was like this is what it is like this is this feeling that I've had forever and it's in words and there are other people out there that feel this way too it's just I can't even I can't even put into words how it felt to finally know what was wrong with me and it's just something wrong but this is get over that mentality that I am faulty and society puts so much pressure on us to be sexual and to have certain types of relationship and you know sex sells everything you see online is just sex sex and uh you know <laughs> but i just feel trapped in time i don't know but i yearn for a romantic relationship to the point where um i used to run a yuri blog <laughs> which is like cutesy uh, lesbian Japanese anime love like whatever so I had to <laughs> just leave my blog because I couldn't even deal with seeing images I would get so upset I had to stop watching anime and I had to stop watching Yuri and I love Yuri I stopped watching Yuri and I recently watched Citrus which is kind of rapey and like incesty but I watched Citrus and I had a panic attack because I was like feeling emotion because <laughs> that sounds so ridiculous but I had to pause Citrus, I don't know what episode it was I had a full blown panic attack because I couldn't cope with actually feeling emotion I just feel so fucked, I don't know, I feel like I have so much love to give but I have no one to give it to because everyone wants sex I put out an image that is so sexual and because I'm in the gothic subculture it's also tied to BDSM and like kink but I'm just not kinky at all and I like I've lied about being kinky in the past and like I've lied about all my experiences and I created such a like fake person mm -hmm. people I haven't come out to about being ace uh, are my work colleagues because I want to like fit in with that banter of like who you'd fuck and all of that shit and I just honestly feel so repulsed by those types of conversations but I just don't feel like I can be truthful about my asexuality at work I don't know I just need to feel okay with it myself first and I just wish that I didn't want a relationship so badly and that it didn't control my mind all the time because it does. Um, I've tried online, was on every site you could ever imagine and then I deleted them and then I deleted Tinder because I was just, it was just hook up central and then I'm just like, should I go to singles events and London but I'm 21 like I don't feel like I belong in this don't like the attention that I get and cat calls and just <laughs> I just wish I could be someone else sometimes so hard it's really hard and I don't know if people actually realize how fucked it can make you feel because um, I just spent years like lying and lying and lying and just thinking like I'm just messed up something inside me just doesn't work and I just I honestly if I could have like my one birthday wish I probably wished I was an ace I just hate it I know that's dark but I hate it I don't know I would give anything to get rid of it <sighs> And then there's people who say that it's 
for attention. Like, I wouldn't fucking wish this on anyone. It's such a lonely existence, especially being lesbian and being ace when lesbians are known to be like quite promiscuous and like sex isn't a big deal. It's just everyone's having sex with everyone and everyone. <laughs> like, it's just so different in the gay community. I don't, I don't know how to explain that. I know not for all, but like a large majority. It just doesn't matter, it's just nothing, but I don't know why, I just wish I could think about it differently. It just sucks. And I'm just at a point where I'm so tired of actively searching that I'm just like, if something happens, cool. But there's this whole thing of like when you meet someone, they have no idea and you have to come out again. It's like, so for a while I was online dating and I wasn't being honest about being ace. I was just like, we'll just see what happens. And then any sort of intimacy starts and I'm like, oh, bye. <laughs> bye. And I get scared. I can't like... I've only ever kissed one person. Two people. I was like, over. But I don't wish to do it ever again. <laughs> I don't understand kissing, and I don't, when I see it on TV, I just feel like. Oh. 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 I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to portray that it is hard and it sucks and it's really lonely um yeah so I was dating online and I wasn't telling people and then I'd meet up with people for just like a normal day and then I just freak out and I just feel like I've distanced myself now from that whole online situation that I don't even know how to communicate with anyone anymore. It's like, I don't know how to date anymore. I don't know what you do anymore. So I just tried to be honest about being ace and like updated all my bios and was like, yeah, like more power to me. Like I'm accepting myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, I didn't get I've, I, that was a couple weeks, months ago. I'm still in the same situation. Like, you can put it in all your bios, but I just feel at this point, like, online dating is just not for me. And then I had this epiphany, and I was like, what if I just have an open relationship? And then, like, they can do whatever they want and be happy somewhere else and, like, leave me out of it. Like, that sounds amazing. And then, then I was looking into polyamory and I was like, maybe this is how I'm gonna find someone. And it's just like, <laughs> I know a relationship is not a priority. But when it's just, I feel like I've been indoctrinated with this image. I don't know, I just feel like brainwashed into wanting a relationship. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm in a really good place financially, emotionally, it just feels like the next step. And I know that life doesn't have to go like that, but it's just something that I really want. And I don't know why I want it, but I do. And at first I have to, oh, I just got a message on OkCupid. <laughs> so I'm never gonna comment or anything. <laughs> but I know that it's not a priority. A necessity, but I want one. And I know that first it starts with accepting yourself. If you can't love yourself, how the hell are you gonna love somebody else? But I feel like I need, I don't know, I need a counselor. I need someone to give my love to. Like, oh, I deeply love my platonic friends um I can't I'm not even gonna go there but 
that's the only true love I've ever felt is for two very special people in my life. Um, and if I never know love in a romantic way, I mean, I love them romantically as well. It, it's just, that's a whole story. Um, but they've taught me love. And if I never find a partner, I know that sounds ridiculous, but if I never experienced love in a romantic way of like a significant other, I'm grateful that they've shown me love and I feel love with them. But it is not enough. Like, I don't feel satisfied with that. I just want a girlfriend. I do. And it's annoying. And I wish I didn't want it. I wish I wanted, like, a handbag or whatever. But, like, I have so much stuff. I, as I sit right now, surrounded in my own hoard that I fell over in the other day. Because I've got so much shit. I'm literally falling over my own shit. Um... There is nothing at this point in my life that I material like any material thing that I desire. Like I really feel like I have everything that I want. Um it's at a point where I just feel overwhelmed. It feels like it's the one thing that's missing and I just don't know I don't know what to do about it. I wish I had like tons of money to start an asexual dating website and I know you can filter things on okcupid and you can filter on different sites for ace stuff but i just online is just not for me it's just not for me i don't know i'm so over it's so exhausting it's so superficial um and i don't know I, it's just not for me but then i feel like I'm, i have such special requirements that it's the only option <laughs> I don't, it's so complicated, it's such a can of worms, I could just go on and on forever about it. I don't know, it just sucks. I just wish I was an ace. And even if I get to a point where I can accept being ace, it just seems like such a massive hurdle. I don't know. It feels like coming out as gay again, but it was it's so much harder. <laughs> it's so much harder. I don't know why. Well, I do know, but... Uh... I don't know. This is so bad. <laughs> this is just my feelings as I turn 21. <sighs> yeah. Bye, Devil.